it's a truly wonderful occasion in North London as international rugby comes to the magnificent Tottenham Hotspur Stadium for the very first time and for a fixture that sparks the interest and enthusiasm of rugby fans around the globe. The tradition, the history, the unpredictability of the Barbarians really are a sporting experience to be enjoyed. Throw into that the class and the quality of a New Zealand 15. And what we have in store is an afternoon that promises the very best of entertainment. The Soul South African with the Killick Cup on the line will get us underway and already a switch of play that sets the standard for what is to come. Into the hands of Josh Dixon. They've set up them all. They're up against a hugely experienced pack, though. And it is the backs who have to run at Nankovel. They send it wide. It's McKenzie out to Heem, who's going to go in at the corner for the first try of the afternoon. Bryce Heem, the experienced campaigner, the Sevens legend, with a wonderful looping pass from Damian McKenzie, and the veteran winger could not miss. I suspect they'll have spent a fair amount of their time getting creative with options like this over the past week. Over the dining table, I'd imagine. And they rumble Tackle towards the line in the shadow of the post. Advantage to come. Even more license, perhaps, to get creative, but the whistle is blown. If you say it again, you'll join in. On the goal line, cynical on the seven. Well, on the, the seven on the goal line. Yellow card for Wait, Tom please. Christie. It's an early yellow card for not too many infringements. And it comes from Kerr Barlow and Advantage. Mercer might fancy it from the pickup run straight to McKenzie over the top. And there's the response from the Babas. And Zach Mercer does get his try this time around. He could only delay him so long. The Babas strike back. It's a bit of a messy scrum. The ball pops out. He just picks it up. One on one with Damien McKenzie. A man that possesses that amount of speed, that strength, that weight, advantage. Just rides the tackle well, gets his shoulders through. And Gardner using his strength. And powering on from the All Blacks 15. Williams, and he's a very, very tough man to stop. Now Dixon from short range gets there. Josh Dixon with the pickup. And the man from Otago gets the All Blacks 15 there, second try. And now the backs can have a go, it's with George Bridge up against his fellow countrymen. Astoy does get to ground and popped up for Mercer, and he's really well defended on that occasion. Ten carries already for the number eight, but that's a loose one and picked up Release. by Shah. Didn't hit Dixon with the line out, and now in goes. Kerr Barlow looking for his options and looking to help over the line. Taki Dakivalu. Lorraine has been shown at the moment. He just gives him an extra bit of power. Just pulls him over the line. Over the top it goes. Nankavel, though, is the one onto it and can burst through the gap. Astoy can't stop him and the impressive Alex Nankovell gets his name on the score sheet and he's the reason why New Zealand are down in the Barbarians half from the kickoff I mentioned it just earlier snatched the ball before he went into touch now the ball's overthrown at the top he's the first to react Mackenzie oh it was a risky one seizing upon it Carballo can he get it out to Toma? Well, he beats one, beats two. The dancing feet of the 
dazzling French winger. Mercer and gets the pass away to Joe Marchant and celebrations in the corner for the Babas. Joe Marchant somehow manages to get that ball down. That is a world-class finish. The Barbarians looking for a fourth score before half-time and it's infield to Piquet. The uncapped Frenchman, Astoy, looks for the little chip through. It does go out and that does bring an end to what has been a quite brilliant first half at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. Six tries shared, three apiece. Then it's been entertainment from start to finish at the break at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It is the Barbarians 21, All Blacks 15, 70. Whoever digs and a little reverse pass to Fainga Anuku. He keeps driving, no, eventually no, downed. Christie waits instead, it comes to Mackenzie and Stevenson with the step and the kick and the goal. Oh, that's brilliant from Sean Stevenson. He had no right to score that try, but he made it all himself and the fullback goes over for the first score of the second half. And Lades, it's an enticing one for Toma and breaking onto it for another score, surely for Joe Merchant. If not him, it's Teddy Toma in the corner. Marchant couldn't quite make it, but Toma on hand, and that's what the Barbarians are all about. Gets his boot to it. It's a perfect weighted balance kick, just like mine pre-game. Feeds Marchant. Oh, the slice. A slice from Natai. But will it bounce up for Mackenzie? Had to wait an age to get his hands on the ball. Stevenson. Fainga Anuku. Straightens and runs at Toma. Weber. Mackenzie. Oh, what can he create here? Stevenson is through. He can't quite gather, though. And he knows that should have been his second try of the afternoon. A piece of brilliance from Mackenzie, it was on a plate for Stevenson and he just couldn't quite deliver. Lots of players around the ball. Webb has found Piquet this time as the Babas threaten again through Mercer. Short line from Gomez. Uh, well, that's some Two. stoppage coming in from the All Blacks 15, but can they keep them out? No, they can't. Just the bench and making an immediate impact it's Reese Webb the Welsh scrum half scores Webb West they've got numbers out wide but it doesn't go through the hands Marchin knocks on and there's a chase on for Mackenzie that Toma maybe realized too late it's still there for West and it is on and it's Stevenson who's eventually bundled into touch as this game goes from one end to the other. Webb, Mercer, throws the dummy, gets round the first tackle of Raquette Stones, and it's Webb again with the chip over the top. Oh, no. No. The penalty is awarded, and Sean Stevenson be could be in trouble here. Line. It's a yellow card for the fullback. Now Webb, rule West, quick hands, couldn't find Bridge, opens up for Balin Sullivan, you won't catch him, well Teddy Toma might, Sullivan for the line, oh it's game on, this is going to be a grandstand finish as the 14 men of New Zealand get a crucial score. Really well read. <laughs> It puts West under a lot of pressure to throw that ball. Then Sullivan is straight on it and has it. Just enough pace to get over from Teddy Toma trying to claw him back. And we'll start with McCallio's throw and up goes Wenceslas Laurie. 
Well, a potentially match-winning moment from the French blind side. Difficult. Uh, it's difficult to pick and go for a minute. Might seem not a long time, but so many things can happen. You get penalised for latching. Use for, it. for sealing the ball off, not staying on your feet. Especially no. when you're five metres out, you feel it might have to kick at some stage. Yeah, there's okay, major Bobbins, pressure. Use it. They've eaten up 25 seconds. It's Mercer who carries again. We've got it all started for okay. the Barbarians' response. Use it. It's Webb, and it goes short, taken on by Cadet Gomez Saab. But has that been turned? Certainly, New Zealand think that they can eye up the ball, but it's been. Oh, I thought Tom Christie had it there for a second. Such fine, fine margins. The final seconds of what has been an engrossing encounter. Reese Webb hammers it out and high into the stands. And it's the Barbarians that celebrate the victory. Well, every game they play is famous, but they'll remember this for some time. A really good performance from Barbarians. A really good performance from All Black 15 as well. Well, what a game. It certainly did not disappoint. Barbarians 35, All Blacks 15, 31.